Well, if you buy a lawnmower and you and you do not run it once more than about once a month, or you do not cut your grass often, especially like in the fall or winter, charge the battery once a month. And people are complaining about these EverStart batteries from Walmart, minus 275 cranking amps. That's the code cranking amps. 275 will crank any lawnmower. That's 275 code cranking amps, like a 300, 350 regular cranking amps. These, I paid $34 for this 275 code cranking amp battery from Walmart, EverStart. If you do not ride your lawnmower more than once a month, if you don't cut your grass about every two weeks, charge the battery once a month. All you need to do is, is hook up the red to the positive post, the black clamp to the negative post on the battery, or you could hook the negative right here to any part of the metal frame of the lawnmower, like right here around this housing. But I prefer to hook them straight to the battery and I've got it hooked up over here to none other. See, it goes to a 110 receptacle plugged in over here. Here's my wire. And this wire comes down to this. And I wanna do a review on this. You see how it's blinking? I've got it set on two amps. Cause these are good batteries. Even though I only use this crankiest thing about once a month. What I was going to say, you could probably crank a lot more 100 times with this battery before it, go, before it will die out. I mean, I've crank it over and over and over, probably 20 times, and never once has it ever failed to crank the lawnmower. But once a month, if you do not use your lawnmower often, use a charger. You want one that's two to six amps. You do not want to charge a battery more than six amps. Some people will say it's okay to charge a lawnmower battery or a car battery 10 amps with 10 amps. The faster the amps, especially anything over 10 amps is safe, anything over 10, 10 amps. When you're charging the battery, anything over 10 amps will boil the battery. It will heat the battery up, which shortens the battery life. Preferred uh, amps is two to six amps. <clears throat> With two amps, it will probably charge this battery right here in about 40, 30, about 40 minutes. Cause it's a good battery, it's in good, good condition. Now, if it's an older battery, it might take two or three. It might take two or three hours. If the battery is completely dead, using two amps will take about one one to two days. It's going on condition of the battery. If you have an old battery, one to two days with a two amp charge. But if you want to charge it, <clears throat> you know, uh, say within six to eight hours, you can use the six amp uh, charger, the six amps to charge the battery, and it's safe. This traveler battery, uh, this traveler battery charger from a uh, tractor supply i bought it for like 26 they run about 26 to 28 dollars but you know the prices have went up on a few things i think it now might now i think it might be around 32 but i bought it for 28 bucks i've had it about a year now and i am very pleased with this traveler six amp smart charger it's a smart charger so what that means it has a circuit board in here and when this thing completely charges the battery, it was this right here. Well, this see how it's blinking. You know, it's right beside the four amps. <clears throat> I've got it on two amps all the way down. It blinks right here. It means it's charging. When it gets fully charged, this light right here will turn solid green. That's how you know the battery's charged. I give this a 10. For my rating scale from zero to 10, I give this a 10. I am very pleased with this battery charger. I've had it a, <clears throat> a year <clears throat> approximately, and it, not once has it failed to, to charge a battery. Hook it into 110 receptacle, put it on two amps, and there you go. If you wanna charge it within six to eight hours, put it on six amps. I give it a 10, that's all you need to know right here on the big old show. And this thing runs like brand new. If y'all remember, I wired this up myself. I paid $100 for this lawnmower. Got that 12 horsepower power built Briggs and Stratton. That's what I'm talking about. So take care of your batteries. Take care of your, uh, uh, the batteries by charging them. Have a good out. <clears throat> Have a good charger. I am very, very pleased with this. And Schumacher makes some good battery chargers too. All right, I got to go. I'm uh, very pleased with my Traveler battery chargers that I bought from tractor supply they still have them over there it's lightweight it's portable uh, and what i do like about it before i go right here on the big old show look at here that cord we got like a six foot cord so it's plenty long to go to the charger and then 
the charging cable is at like six feet. So that gives you 12 feet of cord. So I can easily charge my battery on my lawnmower way the heck over here in the grass from all the way over there from the wall. Do not need a extension cord or a utility cord. All right, my friends, how's the weather in your neck of the woods? Feels, we have a nice breeze going on. It feels good outside. I'm going inside the house, brush my teeth and get me a hot cup of coffee. I will see you all on down the road right here on the big old show. Give me those thumbs up, leave those comments. That helps the algorithm. That helps my channel to grow. Share my videos. I will see you all on down the road. But before I close it out, I love everyone. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for watching my videos. Until next time, my friends, I will see you all on down the road right here on the big old show. I got to go. Whoop.